Yo, what's up guys, Slazy here. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over all of the shotguns in Chapter 3 Season 2. And basically, I'm going to be showing you guys the best shotgun to use in this season because it is pretty controversial of which one is actually the best and which one is the worst to use. But before we do get into the video, make sure you guys do follow my Twitch. I do stream over there nearly every single day. And yeah, let's get right into the video. <laughs> Firstly, before we start off doing this, this is going to be of my personal experience playing the game. I am level 235 at the moment, and I have played the game quite a fair bit. So this will be all in my opinion, just from my experience. So it could be different for you guys, but for me, this is basically what I would prefer. So firstly, we're going to be ranking it in the building Fortnite game modes, like the normal solo duo squad game modes. As well as we would say this is arena, so we'll add that in as well. So firstly, coming in for the worst shotgun to use in building slash arena would be the auto shotgun. I don't know about the auto shotgun, it's just like the tag shotgun but 10 times worse. Which in a building game mode, if you're versing someone who knows how to do certain angles and is good at peace control and everything like that, I feel like the auto shotgun you won't really have the time to because if they, you know, if they right angle PQ, they could hit you for like 75 as you could probably hit them for 25 because your shotgun is mainly something where you need to hit consistent damage with. Not just like one bullet. So yeah, that would probably be the worst one in the building game mode. Coming in for the second best would be the drum shotgun. This one, I feel like you could mix and match with the striker. So the striker is obviously the best. Uh, or you can change it. It's up to you however you play. It's mainly preferred up to your play style. But in my opinion, drum shotgun is in the middle. It is, you know, it can go up to the top or go up to the middle. It's kind of good like that. But for the drum shotgun... It is super broken if you are box fighting, if you exploit to someone's box and or just off spawn fighting with like no one builds. This is really, really well. But the only downside to that would be getting, you know, angle peaks from the pump shotgun and then instantly sprayed with the SMGs. That is like your only downfall, but I mean, if you hit consistent damage and you're just in their face constantly, you will destroy them. But because you can build and stuff, that's kind of your weak point because it doesn't really damage builds the greatest. So, of course, that's not going to be in at the number one. But coming in for the best shotgun in the building game mode slash arena would be the striker pump shotgun. Yes, the striker pump shotgun is literally the Walmart pump shotgun and it does like terrible damage sometimes. But I mean, if you're building, you can shoot, build, edit, shoot, edit back. It's all of those different ways how you can play to just absolutely outplay someone who had the auto or the drum shotgun. And if you do also combo the striker pump shotgun with SMGs, you are basically unbeatable compared to someone who just runs attack with the drum shotty. And that also goes on because the drum shotty and the auto shotty are just meant for just only shooting that shotgun and not switching instantly to an SMG as you can keep, you know, spraying with the shotgun. So like if you just verse someone who has a striker pump and then an SMG, you're guaranteed to die half the time unless if they get a super unlucky like 20 damage headshot. Now, we're going to be moving over to the no building game modes because a lot of people do actually like that game mode too. And I mean, I can't really make a video about the best shotgun if it's only in one game mode. So, of course, we're going to add the no building game mode. Coming in with the worst shotgun to use in no building. This is literally like a flip, basically, of the script. So, the striker pump shotgun is the worst shotgun to use in no building. I mean, you can still kind of use it. But, I mean, you're going to get destroyed by the other shotguns or by the SMGs, mainly because of how inconsistent the damage is with the striker. And, I mean, like, it's just, there's no point using it. Honestly, I'd rather use the SMG than the striker pump shotgun in a no-building game mode. Coming in for the second best one would have to be the auto shotgun. Exactly like how I said before, it works like the tag shotgun, but worse. Now, because you're playing in the no building game mode, they don't have any counter to really do anything with the auto shotgun. Maybe an SMG, but at the end of the day, I feel like the auto shotgun will win against that, especially because of like no building whatsoever. Coming in for the best shotgun to use 
in no building has to be the drum shotgun. This is used by every player that has a big brain and just gets a lot of crown wins and just overall pub stomps in the no building game modes. They do run the drum shotgun because as soon as you're in their face and they cannot build, you are screwed. Like if you land on someone in no building and you use a drum shotgun to their face, they are guaranteed dead. Like there's no stopping you there. So I would highly recommend using the drum shotgun in the no building and I'd recommend using the striker pump or the drum shotty in the building game modes. As of today, we do not have the new shotgun that is meant to be coming out this season, which is the single barrel shotgun. So basically the single barrel shotgun is like the season one chapter three of the heavy shotgun where it has a tight spread and it's only like one bullet, uh, which will honestly be like exactly the heavy, but kind of just different looking, I guess. And for that, I would have to put it probably under the second worst. So in third spot, and then make the striker the worst in the no building. And then I would have to probably put it in first or second place for the building game modes. If it is out by the time you guys are watching this, I'll probably make a comment in the comment section down below of like the pinned comment of me saying where I'd actually rate that shotgun and any other new shotguns coming out in this season. But yeah, if you guys did find this video helpful in any way, shape or form, feel free to drop a like, subscribe as well if you guys are new, as that does mean a lot. I will be making more videos about this. I have made a video on the best SMG to use in Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2. So if you guys want to go check that out, they'll be in the description down below. Also, comment down in the comment section down below what you guys think about this. Where would you guys rank it in no building and building game modes? Do you think the auto shotgun is probably the best shotgun in, you know, the building game mode? So on and so on. I am very intrigued to see what you guys think about that. And yeah, like, subscribe, all that amazing stuff. And I'll see you guys later.